Google Sheets opens up opportunities for you to store contact details, organize that data, and perform some data processing and formatting with formulas. You can also pull data from a Google Sheet directly into ManyChat. It's super powerful. So let's dive in and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so first what you wanna do, make sure you have your Google Sheet account or your Google account integrated with ManyChat. If you haven't done that yet, you go under settings and then you go down here to integrations and then you connect your Google Sheet integration here. So once in a flow, uh, this is where you will then start to utilize the Google Sheet through action steps. So in this flow is the example, the birthday example, I'm gonna show you a couple of things. One, I'm gonna show you how to send data from a user into the Google Sheet, uh, an initial piece, which will be the email, how to update that data with when they provide an SMS, and then also how to pull in data into ManyChat with this extra um, section here about birthday meals. And the other thing too is you wanna make sure that you have the um, Google Sheet already created before you do all this. So see here, I have birthday entries here. So I have the manager ID, the name, email, phone, and ticket amount. We want to make sure that they've given their email. If they have, then we go and do an action step. So first what we're gonna do is we're going to set the manager ID. So you wanna do set custom field. And here you make the custom field. Um, let me do it right here, main chat ID. And it's gonna be a user custom field and then what you're going to do is you're going to type that back in again menu chat id and you're going to set that to the value you're going to do an apostrophe and then you're going to use this to get the user id right here so that will make the number with the apostrophe so then that way it will send to the sheet without making the number look exponential but ends in zero Okay, so now that we've got that set up, now we will do insert row. So you click on insert row, you select the spreadsheet, and then the worksheet. So this one's gonna be the birthday entries. And then the ManyChat ID, so that's what we just created there. So we'll do ManyChat ID. Then the name, do full name. And we haven't, um, or, and we did ask for the email, so we'll put in here email but we haven't asked for phone number and ticket amount yet. So we'll leave that there. Then we have that there. Perfect. So now everybody who goes through this part of the flow will at least have rows A through C input. So then the next step is if they're providing their SMS, so we can do it here on the end if we want. Do another action step do the Google Sheet actions, and then we're gonna do update row. So same thing, choose the worksheet and the spreadsheet. In the lookup column, now you can use either email or the main chat ID. We'll just use the main chat ID so that stays the same no matter what. So we're gonna look up the main chat ID, and then we're gonna put in the phone number. Phone. Then we hit save. Okay, so then same thing, we can actually just duplicate this. And this is for here where it's asking, uh, what is the total amount that you paid? So that's the ticket amount. So we'll do the same thing where we'll just leave this the same, looking up the match ID instead of phone, we're gonna delete that out. And then we're gonna instead for here, put in ticket amount. There's that, hit save. Okay, so that's, showing you how to uh, create the initial row and then how to update it. Now, to pull in information from Google Sheets to be used in your messaging, I'll show you about that here. So uh, in this example, we're gonna say, you know, see the current birthday meal options by clicking the button below. And what I've done is inside of Google Sheets, I've done the birthday meal options. So there's gonna be the different meal options, the meal types, and the price. 
So what we're gonna do is, um, like let's say in this example, you gave the restaurant owner the ability to change up the meal types. I mean, this could also be used for like daily specials or whatever, right? Um, that you can have them just update the Google Sheet and it will automatically update it in the chatbot, which is great for you because it's hands off for you and then they can just put it in the Google Sheet and you're good to go. Okay, so let me show you how to set this up. So let's say for this instance, we are going to have them want to look at what the birthday meals are. So we're going to uh, do the action step and we're going to do same thing, Google Sheet action. So what we're, we're going to do is we're going to get row by value. So we're going to do this worksheet, birthday meal options, look up column. So we're going to look up the birthday meal options and the lookup value is we're going to choose the birthday meal one. So this is the bot field. So this has birthday meal one in it as the text. So that will pull up the birthday meal one. So you see here it says birthday meal one. So that way it's looking for this actual value inside of, okay. So now that we have that, so the birthday meal one then what we're going to do is we're going to the meal type and the price. So we want to have birthday meal one here and then the price meal one price and hit save. So that's going to be the first one. So then you can just duplicate this because there's three of them, right? So do this with each one. So one, two, three, then this one, we're just going to switch to two on all of this. And then three. So now we're going to do a, and we're doing Instagram here. So we're going to say your options are, and then we're going to do the meal one. So this is where we're going to say birthday meal one four and we're going to put the price one price okay and then what i'm just going to do is i'm going to just copy that and put it here and then we're going to just change this to two and three so now when somebody clicks on here it'll give them their options for the meal one for the price two for the price, three for the price. So we'll show for this example, cheeseburger meal for $12.50, steak and mashed potatoes for $26, and chicken pasta for $17.47. So yeah, so that's the really cool thing with um, Google Sheets. It really makes your ManyChat uh, automation through Instagram super powerful. Be sure to check out the other videos in this module. Uh, if you want more ideas or if you have a question of like, hey, I want to do this with a Google Sheet, uh, definitely go to the uh, ManChat community on Facebook and ask there. Thanks and happy bot building.